Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. So last weekend, we were on the Winding Rivulet for a little while. Uh, tried our hand at fly fish, or not fly fishing, sorry, spin casting. Didn't really get that much in results there, and then float fishing just to try to get some extra bucks to save up, and we did manage to get a little bit of, like, a float period, or a float fund. So we picked up the feeder fishing kit. Now, there are a couple things I do want to go into before I get towards that, because the comments have been pretty helpful, and also one weird thing about the game as well. So last weekend, I talked about how, like, I got a few things sent to me as gifts to help me along, and I wanted to say, try avoid them, and just focus more on what you would get as a new player going through the experience with the time put in, how it feels, and what you'd get. A weird thing is, you can receive items as a free account, but you can only send items as a premium account. However... You cannot actually decline sent items, so they seem to be sent back to the person. I don't know if there is a way, and I'm just not aware of it, but I don't have any option when I go into messages to try to send the goods back. So thank you very much for the gift, but you're just going to sit in the bottom left corner there as like three messages right there. So it is another thing, if you do play this and you're thinking of, oh, maybe he'd like a little bit of a gift or something, hold on to it. Just keep your stuff and spend for yourselves, guys. Because again, I want to take this as your what a new player would go through of how it feels, the time sink, and stuff like that with it. It does have a bit of grind to it if you're going for some things, but I do have to admit, it's not a bad, like, feeling for the grind. Like, I do admit, it feels like the spin casting stuff might be more expensive and you'll want to hold off on it, just because it doesn't really bring in a lot of results too easily or well. But when it comes to the float fishing... You are going to get a pretty steady supply of fish coming in, and you can fill the cafe orders fairly well. So that was the one thing I want to go into when it came to the messages. There's also, I think, a way of changing the lure stuff for, like... Here we go, this is it. Wait. No. Is it? Because I can't change anything here. I was told that there is a way to change and adjust the, uh... Adjust the lures uh, hook with it, and then you have to use the gear icon. But if I click the gear icon, I can't actually change any of this out in this page. So I'm trying to think of where you're supposed to be able to do it. Because, like, yeah, I have the hooks, I have these. I mean, I can do this, I can do... Yeah, no, that doesn't let you change it. That just brings up the information about it. You have to go into the like the puzzle piece selection here, and then you can. Like if I do go on to here and here, there, this gives me the information about what the full setup is and like each little part of it. But it doesn't let you change out what you have on there. So is it under you? Uh, it's not in space because there's no other icons. Maybe it's a premium thing that just... Yeah, I can't do anything to that there, so... Maybe it is something premium you get a little bit of, like, a quality of life thing? I don't know, but... I'm fairly sure that's what it was... I was told is it's the gear icon down at the bottom... I can see these, but I can't adjust them in any way, shape, or form. I'd basically have to go into taking the lure off, adjusting it in the inventory here, like changing out. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, but focusing back onto what we want to start with, we have the feeder fishing start kit. So it's good balance and ease of assembly, great option for those who are making their first steps in learning feeder fishing. This comes with the rod, the reel, the line, sinker, hook, and... Express Fishing Twin Bells. So we'll unpack that. And that should be the comfort here. Yeah, so everything is present here. Uh, there are different weights you can use for it. It looks like Classic Feed Mix. Okay, so... I'm just trying to think of how this exactly works. Okay, well, the info is you can send it to another player. Okay, not that. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm looking to do here. Okay, so ba basic bottom fishing rig is the classic bottom sinker, feeder, ground bait, 
So I think I need to try creating ground bait for this. I know it does have like its own bait component. But let me see about looking about trying to make a thing of ground bait. And I think for that I need feed. Okay, yeah, so ground bait. So, um, I think I've got to go to the tackle store. Because I'm not exactly sure the steps to this. There is dry mix. And just ground bait here. There is crushed boilies. Although, it says I need a bait grinder for that. Yeah, this is some of the parts where I think a more tutorial would be handy to go over. So let me just check the tackle store and see about what I need to do for ground bait. Because I think it'd be the tackle store I need it from. Okay, here's baits. Um... Okay, these are sinking boilies. Okay. No, see, I don't think I need rig components. It's a bait of some kind, but... Hmm. I mean, it is nice that there are, like, these bait kits that have a variety of things to them. But yeah, I don't know what I actually need to start with making ground bait. Oh, my bad. Like, if I do go into feed... It says base of mixture 1, but I don't know what it actually... Like, what you could use in... Must select the required mixture 1. Do I need the grocery store instead? Now, I know there are probably people who are more focused on trying to think of, like, oh, why didn't you just look it up and know exactly what you're doing? Again, I want to approach this from you're a new player, and you're just trying to see what the game tells you, and what you can kind of, like, learn, or how lost, how does it go, per se. And I gotta admit, it's not the most forward in some aspects. Like, there is bait that... Okay, so I've got threaded loaf, so I could make wet bread, so I have that as an option I can make. Um, let me... Actually, let me check in the cr crafting. Oh, that's actually where I was. I'm stupid. Okay, so there's food you can make, there's leaders, there's, uh, lures. Now... It says dry mix, but again, I just don't know what it's actually calling for. Okay, let me see about making a ground bait. Does it say there's anything required? No. There's no additives I have here. There's nothing it kind of gives me as a clue for like what it's asking for. Okay, let me check skills. There's harvesting baits, making ground bait. Okay. From different components. Further you improve the ability, more components become available. Developing this, you can increase the quality of ground bait you make. Each upgrade increases the quality of ground bait, but I can't make anything. Oh, wait. Is this what? Okay, this might be what I need. Okay, so. I think I've already got this? Because it doesn't have, like, you can spend a point in it. So it says the basic level components includes mixtures of semolina, ground crackers, additives of... Okay, so maybe I need to pick up some ground crackers from... or some crackers from here. Okay, well there's semolina. So you know what? Yeah, let me get one of those. That is a buck forty-nine. Now let me check and see. Nothing. No additives. No attractants. Okay, but what do I have in my pack?
Hmm. Yeah, this might be something I'm going to have to actually put a pause on for now and look up and see how I make the first ground bait, so... Like, and that needs a bait grinder to make it. It needs some kind of mixture, but even going into the skills, I thought... Semolina, ground crackers, additives are corn, milk, forage, bloodworm, fly maggots. And it doesn't say I need anything like a tool for it. There's no room for any additives. And yeah, nothing in there either. This... It feels like you need to have the wiki right there and ready for quite a bit here. So yeah, give me a minute to check things out and see about how I can make my first ground bait. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll see. Okay, I'm back and yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize in the tax store there was like the ground bake bone here. So looking here, this is where I think everything is. So and we'll start, I guess, just with the very basics here of one pack of ground crackers. Um, I don't know if I'll do any additives yet. Maybe before I get too complicated in like trying to go for mixtures and attractants and stuff. Let me just try crafting one of these. But yeah, I didn't realize that it was actually like ground bait packaged in the tack store there and everything is right there for you. So that was me being very dumb on my part. I apologize there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... There we go. I was able to make... Uh... Ready-made ground bait. Okay. So now, let me get down to the water's edge. I... Truth be told, I also don't know... Like, from what I've gotten, to, like, understanding, you'll toss the ground bait out and kind of act like, say, you're chumming the water in a way where, like, you'll have a lot of attention to that area the ground bait hits. But I don't exactly know... Oh! That went a lot further than I had planned for it to. So, I guess I'll just do, say, Semolina? Hey, you know what? Let me just bring that over to four, and maybe that to five. Okay, so this is going to be something I'm going to definitely struggle with for a while. I think I basically want to wait till... It says touching bottom before I close the uh, spool. Is it even? S it should be sinking, but like looking at the line, I j or closing the reel. Sorry. Yeah, see, that's one of the things I thought if it. W if you were, like, having the lure sinking down, you'd see the line sim- or, like, the spool icon on the bottom going out, or, again, eventually get the notification that it's touched bottom. Oh. I don't know if I had something on, or that's just, like, the tension coming back in. Again, this is going to be a lot of people probably- Rubbing their heads like, oh my god, what are you doing? That's not how you do it, etc. I want to try just taking... I get my hands on with it first, see how lost I am. And if I can piece anything together on my own. Okay, so yeah, that's ready to go there. I didn't intend to throw the ball out as far as I did, so... Actually, how many do I have? Okay. Oh, I actually have 19 more portions I can use, so you know what? I'm going to... Yeah, let's just do something like that. Let's grab this. I'll keep the friction break at 16. Okay, that might have been too far out. I think what I want to do is try to match, like, the power of the throw for the ball out with at least the rod's power for now. 
Um, I also... Okay, there's two bait icons there. So I'll have to take a look at that and what that means. But let me just give this a moment and see if, like, it actually... ...eventually says, like, the line hits bottom. Because right now... Again, I don't know if there's actually any line being taken out and the lure is sinking. It just seems like static where it is. Okay, let me bring this up though and see why there's the second bait option in the top left there. Okay, so there's that one. But, okay, is there something else in here? Uh, hmm. Like, yeah, I've got hook on. I. Uh, use scramble can only be with feeder attached to the rig. Add a feeder to the rig and try again. Okay, so. Do I need to pick up a feeder as well? Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot to try to figure out with this one. Well, I can set it up there. Oh, hang on. I can actually open and close the reel while it's set down like that. Okay. Well, let me take the rod, so... There's also... Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe if I set it down... It does have a different... Okay, what is with the tips? Maybe that's a way to kind of, like, visually see you have something on the line. Like, more so than the rod dipping forward, maybe that's something's feeding? Oh, well, there's all the details there. Maybe... Okay, I'll try watching that for a little bit and see. But I don't really have a way of zooming in to watch them better. Alright, let me... Okay, open the reel. Hmm. Yeah, like, for a little bit there, they were wiggling like there was something going on, but now... Nothing at all. And when I go to pick it up... Those... the tip completely, like, changes. There's not those little things there anymore. Alright, what is my retrieval speed? I'll do 18 on that. Not too fast. Hmm. No, I didn't mean to actually cast out. Although that is new longest cast, surprisingly, by accident. No, I'm not sure where that tension came from for a moment. Yeah, this is one that's going to need to take a little bit of time to sort and figure out. But at least I know the ground baits, they, everything is the tackle store for them. It's not, you make up, like, when it said ground crackers, it's not you actually have to buy the crackers, grind them up, and that. Is there actually something on the... No, no, I don't... Okay, let me go into the components of this, and maybe that'll help clear some things out. Um... Actually, that does not even let me look at the rest of the components here. Okay. I don't know if... Yeah, I can't really view them in here because they're in a kit. Oh. Yeah, I kind of feel like the... It'd be helpful to have some more tutorials present for, like, what this stuff all is trying to let you know... 
Maybe I'll put that away and let me see what it would cost to get a feeder for this. Like, maybe... I'm trying to think of how this would work. Okay, yeah, into the tackle store. Just give it a moment or two and then we'll start going through this. Or maybe I'll reload the tackle store. I didn't think it would take that long. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Okay, if I go to rig components... Feeders. So, express fishing mesh feeder. Out of stock. That's kind of bizarre. How do you have out of stock for... Okay, I don't want to go up to that. Um, there is an inline or... Mesh feeders are a series of cylindrical feeders that are cast from robust polymer resistant to mechanical... resistant to mechanical damage. Feeders belong to open type and are equipped with lead sinkers, excellent option for fishing in still water or in weak currents. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see... I'm just trying to think of maybe I should be looking... Like, yeah, that's just for making ground baits. There's not really any accessories I can think of for, like, needing to go for. Huh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, maybe I'll... Yeah, feeder fishing stars what we picked up. Okay, so these are... Tw oh, these are actually bells, so yeah, I... Okay, so that's where I think I was messing up, is... This is for you basically cast out, you set it down, and you wait till you hear the bells ringing to let you know something's on the line. Okay. So yeah, I was completely... I wasn't sure exactly what they are. Now that makes a lot of sense. And then, if you have the rod in hand, you don't need to be listening out, so... Okay. So that solves what that is. It's just, I'm... Again, it's the feeder I don't know about. I don't know if I need one, and wasn't included in the kit, or... How to tackle that. God, for a fishing series today has not really had too much fishing done for it, huh? Okay, well, let me try... Okay, maybe I'll change the bait to wet bread. Just try that. Cast that for about 50 out. I'll set that up. I've got the bait ball here. Okay, that was kind of close. So, maybe, should I be trying something like a mix of this? Because I'm just trying to think of the process of how you do this. I think the reason there are the two bait symbols, like when you're using the, uh, bottom fishing rod is one is for the hook itself and the other one is if you have a feeder attached to it. I don't know for sure, but I'm just going to maybe give it a little time and see if anything does happen. I also don't know what like the next uh, item or big ticket thing I'm going to look at picking up will be. Because I at least got to try spent fishing out. It does feel like that one you need to have very specific equipment for having steady results for, like, the fish you bring in. Like, the perch I was actually able to get in 
fairly regularly and consistently. But that, I think, was because of just that one specific lure I had on there. The rest of the things were very hit or miss, if anything, did go for it. But when it came to float... Well, speaking of float fishing, with enough time... You do get interest on. Oh, little roach. Well, it's at least nice that I can catch that. Uh, let me see, right. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to adjust the depth to that. Let me toss that out to there. There we go. Okay, I think that's how this should be done. Oh, can I not? Okay, I have to right-click and bring it in. So that was our first fish caught with the uh, bottom fishing rod. And it does seem like... Sort of understanding it, in a way. Like, it is a case of, okay, leave it... Um, I do kind of wish there was a way of knowing, like, when to close the reel. Because, like, I don't know how deep or long to let it go for, so... Uh, maybe that's enough right there. And then... Yeah, so it is kind of like float fishing, just it's the opposite of, instead of being able to see the float in the line, you just have to let the fish at the bottom go for it. So I can at least say we managed to get a fish using the new equipment. There's still a lot I need to figure out and learn from it, but it is something. And I'm sure the comments are going to be flooding in with people going, Oh, there's a lot you do not know and you will be taught. So we'll see how they come in and if there's anything left of me after they've shredded me to pieces there, but... At least I think I kind of understand how it goes. You toss it out... Or, well, you can either... I guess maybe you can toss the ground bait first, or you can toss out the rod first. But you try to toss them out into the same general area... You let it sink right to the bottom, you set the rod down, you give it a moment or two, you close the reel, and then you just wait until uh, the, the bells start chiming. Come here, are you... Oh, actually, a fairly large-sized roach compared to what we've been catching. So maybe we'll try just one more fish on each line, and then we'll end this episode. I do feel like an idiot for not understanding, like, the tackle store had the ground bait literally all set up. I was just so dumb and didn't check there again. I think it's one of those things that when you're in the moment trying to solve it yourself, you overlook some very easy and obvious details. But it is a little interesting that for bottom fishing, it's like a comp... Well, it might just be because, like, the float fishing here... Because of the rod, it doesn't have a reel to go with it. But bottom fishing, as the kit, it does have you... The rod, reel, and, like, having to reel in. So yeah, we'll just try to catch a couple of fish on each... I'm not going to worry too much about trying to, like, make profit today or anything. I'm just going to try and get my head around how this all operates. I may also try picking up, like, the cheapest feeder there is and seeing about that. Because I don't know if the ground bait would go inside that, or you need a different kind of bait for that. You know what? Trial and Error is the name of this game, so I think I will do that next episode. Try to pick that up, see if I can figure out how to do that. I'm at least happy to say that there was a little bit of fishing we could squeeze into this episode, and that something was on the equipment. 
Although, truth be told, maybe... Oh! oh of course, as soon as I put this down, I was going to check and see about... Uh, the bottom fishing rod and maybe opening the reel. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll keep that. Take this. Oh, there is some tension on this line. Yeah, so we just got to bring it in like that. Nope. Um. There we go. Okay, I might have to adjust the bottom fishing rod a little bit. But again, at least I'm catching some fish with it. It's not a complete waste of the first episode of the weekend with it. But I will end this episode here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you did enjoy the video, you should give a like. And if you have any comments, I know you are all loaded with comments on how to do this properly. Be sure to leave the comments right down below, and I'll try to put them into practice much better next weekend. Well, you will have to sit through one more week episode this weekend without those suggestions and comments, so try not to have an aneurysm as you're, like, face bombing too hard at what my failures are. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until I do catch you in the next video or episode, anglers, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling. <laughs>